Hello, beautiful strangers, and welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 2. When last we left off, uh, I think I was mostly just complaining about the lack of poison using enemies in this game, as well as the fact that there are only spiders in two areas of the game. But uh, I, I think I promised that we would spend more time with, uh, with Ada, and we're going to do that in just a minute. First, I just want to go and look at a room very quickly. Uh, here's a room. Here's a, a thing. Lock. Description for plugs. King, rook, bishop, knight. No pawn. No queen. And, well, we have three of the four, so... Mm, not... Not much that we really need to, uh... To go get. Oh. Ada? Hi, Ada. I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. Yeah, you sure looked the part. Uh, does that it's say septic end. pool? You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? I think you can get into the... I'll go uh, and check. Well, I mean, to the shaft itself. It's either an AC shaft or... Well... That's really all I can really think of, is it's like an AC shaft, or, um, it is completely pointless. <laughs> Which, uh, let's be real here. Ow, pop. That was my knee popping. And not in the normal way that my knee pops. <laughs> uh, mostly because I was pushing it up against the side of my desk. Yeah, that's pretty much a useless vent. I've, um, I've never been into a septic pool. A cesspool. Or a cesspool. Uh... But I've never seen vents like that. I know that noise. Let's see what do you have in your inventory. Uh, you have some handgun ammo. First, I just bought my desk again. Sorry about that if you heard it. A handgun ammo. I have a handgun. This is a Browning HP manufactured by FN Belgium. 9mm parabellum rounds. We have a picture. A picture taken fairly recently. Um, have a first aid. Go away, please. Um. From what I recall. Um, you actually, well, I'll explain to it later, but using up Ada's ammo is pretty much pointless. You don't get anything out of it, good or bad. Um, same thing with the first aid spray, but with the first aid spray, uh, theoretically, uh, let's go this way first because it's pointless. Um, it, well, not theoretically, it lowers your score if you use the first aid spray. Um... God, I was going to say something about Ada. Oh, right. Um, Ada is um, referenced in Resident Evil 1, as is uh, her boyfriend, Ben. Pipe is under, water pipe is under construction. It was Ben. R I think. Shit, I, th I think it was Ben. Can I not look at that? Okay. Um, but I don't actually re remember for certain. Um, it's whatever her boyfriend's name is. Her name is the password to his computer. He was one of the scientists at the, uh, at the mansion. Um, and then that's about the only interesting thing about, about him. Um, it's just interesting that she is a one-off character mentioned in Resident Evil 1, and she became one of the most important... And I think popular characters in uh, in Resident Evil in the franchise. Um, the another one would be. No, I actually can't think of anybody who would um, who would fit that description of became popular from uh, just being a one-off mention, and then they were used later, and so on and so forth. I I don't think there's anybody. 
I could be wrong though. Um, I mean, Wesker ended up being a series wide villain, but he was in the first game as a villain. Uh, that's, yeah, I honestly, I can't think of anybody besides Ada who got that treatment. Uh, not that I dislike that. I do like Ada as a character for the most part. Um, at least I liked her in this game and in four. <laughs> I, I, I actually can't remember. Yeah, I'll fill the thing with water. I actually can't remember her character in six. I remember basically nothing about six because I played it the year it came out or the year after it came out. I think I played it the year it came out. Uh, I thought it was an okay action game, not a very good horror game, not a very good Resident Evil game. And then never touched it again. That's all that's here, right? There's a thing there for a different uh, run. I think for Claire, I believe. Um, I'll check this just to get it checked. And there's a club key. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that is actually the only thing you have to get in this section is the club key. Um, and that's it. There's no other reason for this section to exist. It's just to give Leon the club key. And, um, well, there are a few doors that we can open with the club key. But, yeah, we're, we're done playing as Ada. Leon, Her section in Remake is, uh, longer. Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Actually. Think fast. Actually. One more. No, I guess her section, I, uh, hey, it was I taking me a minute. Ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll okay. catch up with you later. Okay. Um, I can't, it actually took me a minute to remember her section in Remake what? because I didn't like it all that Ada, much. Wait. Um, I think her section was probably my least favorite part of the game. Um, I know Sherry's section, you don't do much. Hi, Kat. Um, but Sherry's section was a lot more interesting. So, you know, your mileage may vary and all of that. Is there anything that I want to do from here? Now we're good. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Wait, have I not gone? Oh, okay. I'm an idiot. I noticed that. What are you doing, cat? Um. Hi, cat. Uh, yeah. I think from here there are two. Oh, shit. Did I just get poisoned? That. I was distracted by the cat and got poisoned for literally the first time I've ever played this game. That's actually impressive. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never had that happen to me before. That's actually a shock. I, I figured something like that was probably going to happen from uh, um, from when I last played this. Or from when I talked about this and, you know, mentioned that it's literally never happened before to me before. Uh, so let's go and get... This is... A mixed herb, complete mixed herb. Please move the camera up. Oh, there we go. Um, okay. I mean, I left this blue herb here. Uh, right? If I didn't, I'll just... Yeah, I did. I don't actually think I can use this by itself. Uh, if memory serves, you have to mix it. Oh, no, you, you can use it by itself. Okay. That is a later Resident Evil thing. Got it. I, uh, I've literally never had to use it before, so I didn't actually know. Um, I can't say that I've never seen anybody not do that, but, you know, or not be poisoned, but, you know, it's even, even in the new players that I've seen play this game, it's very rare. They go, oh, spiders, and then run past them after they realize that they can't hit you, or... They sit there and waste shotgun ammo at shooting them, but you know, or uh, Claire ammo, one of the one of the weapons that she gets uh, because she does get more weapons than dear old Leon. Um, do I want to do that now? Yeah, I might as well. Okay, sorry, right, just deciding on. Fuck.
and okay, it's three. These are worth killing to save yourself some sanity. They are kind of hard to dodge around, and there is another one. Ow. Uh, hmm. I thought it was slightly further down the hallway. It might actually spawn further down the hallway. And I just forgot. But whatever. I thought you remember used the club key. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Um. I love this room. Love this room. Such a cool, uh. I guess idea. Yep, I will take that. Because as soon as you do, all of the enemies start getting up. And if you're not getting, if you don't get stuck on them like I did, you can just run past without issue. I, however, am an idiot and got stuck on them. Um, now I have to make a tactical choice. Um, because I've got the card key to the weapon storeroom. Great. <laughs> I was, what, two pixels off? Great. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks, game. Um, I need to make a tactical choice now. Uh, I think I've made my decision. Um, yeah, I think I know what I'm going to do. Um, it's probably not technically the optimal choice, but with how I play this game, uh... Yeah, this is that's this is how I'm going to do it. There's a machine gun and a side pack. With a side pack, I can carry more items, and with the machine gun, it's a fucking machine gun. Okay, I'm going to take the side pack as Leon. I probably should do the opposite. The thing is, I don't like using the machine gun as Leon because he has a shotgun. Claire does not get a shotgun. She has a bow gun, which I don't particularly like. And a grenade launcher, which I do like, but it's not a shotgun. It's not as objectively useful because you don't get as many as much ammo for it as you get with a shotgun. Um, and after you hit a certain point in the game, you can just use a shotgun for the rest of the game, no problem. Um, so I'm going to take the side pack for him to carry more items. The smarter thing to do would be to take the side pack for Claire so she can have the grenade launcher and the bow gun. And still has the same number of space for healing and puzzles. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take the side pack for Leon because um, with him, I typically have three weapons for boss fights. Yeah, I will equip the side pack. Um, side pack is being equipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the interesting little thing about this decision as well. You can take both of the items as one character or the other for the in their A scenario. However, both items are missing. You can leave both items and both items will be there. So if I wanted to, I could leave both items for Claire, which also would not be a horrible idea because Leon doesn't technically need the side pack to, uh, to find success. He doesn't technically need either of them because, as I mentioned, the only ones that I'm really going to be using is the shotgun. Did I get that son of I did. Um, yeah, and, well, shotgun. We will be getting another item now-ish. Nothing useful. Oh, there's something useful here, all right. Please give it to me. It's on, I think, this side. No, I think that might be in remake. It's over here. I know there's something here. And more shotgun shells, and... Um... I actually, I mentioned that, you know, being able to just use a shotgun. Once you hit that point in the game, you can actually, uh... You have a handgun ammo on you, don't you? Or are you the only one that doesn't? No, it's just your throat and abdomen have been ripped out. And here's a note. Watchman's Diary. August 11th. I finally had the chance to see the blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to be concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than that I was neglecting my duties. 
Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? September 5th. I recently talked to the old man who worked in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man and really enjoy- seems to enjoy chess. Even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for, uh, for one of the doors to the disposal yard. He made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease or is he just rude? September 9th. Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I can imagine that could match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. September 12th. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but we had to cancel it because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest, and since he literally looked like the walking dead. He insisted that he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. Itchy tasty, you are not. And? New weapon. Magnum? Yes, yes, I think I will. Hi, cat. Hi. Hi. No, you need to move. Um. Yeah, that's all there really is in here. Um. Let me think. Oops, I did not. Well, I mean, it's not. I didn't mean to. I was mashing the button. Oh, yeah, I do, I do do that. Um, let's see. We have one more room to go f to first, and then we have uh, the last of the police station, more or less. Um, I'm going to take these. It's not going to hurt to have some extra health. You know, I'm already very, very, very vaguely regretting my decision, but this is the choice that I always make, so... Um, I, c I can live with it pretty easily. I just would prefer not to. Oh yeah, if I were smart, if I were smart, I would have, uh, you know, left both for Claire, but I didn't. Uh, what way do I want to go? Oh, uh, what way do I want to go? Cat, stop that. Um, hmm. Oh, wait, that's only one. I'm thinking of a different place about going. I was thinking about I wanted to get up to the, uh, to the clock tower, not to the item that I need to go to before I get to the clock tower, which I can decide after that. Although I kind of want to go to a box so I can get this fucking magnum out of my inventory. I'll do that. That would be smart. I would like to have a little bit more space. Um, space is good. Space is good. Good. I mean, I know I got the uh, the thing, but I would like to have more spaces, especially since um um I I have to have the four fucking keys in my goddamn inventory um, eventually, which we're gonna have to deal with with Claire as well. But um, it'll be a bit easier to deal with because uh she has something. Or not have something. Um, I'm she. I'm not carrying around a fucking magnum. I'm typically, I'm typically at close to the point where I'm barely even carrying around the uh, um, bow gun. Honestly, I'm kind of leaning towards. I might try using it a bit more in this playthrough, but what usually ends up happening is I get the bow gun and stop giving a fuck. And like after I get the grenade launcher, which you get very early on. Um, hi, cat. Actually, funnily enough, because it, it's been a while and I, I kind of had to think about it for a sec, I don't remember where you get which. I know that the there is a bow gun and you can get two of them because you can get one um, where uh, Leon gets... Oh, right here. Um, where Leon gets the... Er, well, from Kendo, because um, I was going to say where Leon gets his shotgun, 
But that's not true because Leon gets two shotguns. You can get one where he got the normal one in the star's office and you get one from Kendo. I don't remember if it's a one-to-one saying, hi, it's a gear. A uh, picture of a man on a carriage, something's on the wheel, like the queen, the king, and the jack. Carriage will start running. Okay. Uh, there's this little bit of film on the table, which is the one that I was thinking of earlier. Does this have a name? No. I don't know why I keep checking it in hopes that it would, but it doesn't. If I recall, that is the one that is actually useless. We're going to do king, king, queen, and jack. I believe I need to light this first. Um, which we can do right away because we have a lighter as our op as our immediate inventory item. Uh, 12, yeah. Queen, king, jack. Simple as. And from here, we can go and get this thing and nothing bad is going to happen to us when we do so. Yep, nice, uh, nice cogwheel there. See, like I said, nothing bad is going to happen when we do so. Um, I was actually thinking that a certain scene played now-ish, but it doesn't. Um, you know what? I don't remember when it plays, actually. Um, I'll go get that film developed for posterity, I guess, just to show off what the fuck it is, but it's actually useless because it's uh it's, a, it's for a puzzle that we already solved that you don't actually need that to tell you how to solve it because it's easy or something but you know i mean it's easy it has this puzzle has a clue in it like, there are multiple clues that are... It has the one that's in the room itself that tells you how to solve it, as well as this picture. Um, unless I'm completely, completely mixing up this picture with something else, and I don't think I am, because I don't remember any more pictures in this game. Granted, I haven't developed any in a while, but still. I never developed them anymore, because I've seen them all many, 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 many times. Hi, cat. Yes, you've been in a mood for the past few days, haven't you? You do not like me recording anymore. Which is vaguely annoying, but it is what it is. And I guess you're just gonna have to deal with it anyway. <laughs> uh, from here, I think I actually have to use from the inventory menu. Yeah. Oh, no, this isn't. Then where the fuck is the thing that I'm thinking of? Also, I don't remember ever... <laughs> I haven't done the pictures in so long that I've not seen this one and I don't remember this one at all. Picture in front of the Ar uh, Arukas Taylor. Arukas? Arukas? I don't know. Arukas Taylor. Aggressed into a zombie within two hours. Subject repeatedly complained about severe agitation of the epidermis in addition to the feelings of nausea. This happened up to the moment he lost consciousness. Picture by R. Lambert. I wonder if that's a reference to, um, to somebody. I know... Some companies, and I don't know if Capcom was one of them, um, like to use stuff like that to put dev names and so on and so forth into the um, into the game. Uh, you are you're the okay, um, but I don't know if that's one. I think the fastest option for me to go is actually going to just be this way. Um, I was thinking about going around the outside path, but I'm, I won't. I can just go this way. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I'm just going to take the outside path back, even though it's a little bit longer. Uh, because, um, well, that hallway where the dogs were, where the liquors now are, isn't the only hallway that's changed. It's not the only hallway that has liquors, unfortunately. Um... Just thinking about that is just... Eh. I didn't mean to click that, but whatever. Um, I'm missing an item. Not a super important item. Um, But I know I'm missing an item. I don't remember where it is. It's just a 
It is a stack of shotgun shells somewhere, and I don't... Ah, here's the scene. Yeah, I'm just going up to the third floor. For some reason? Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm missing a stack of shotgun shells somewhere that I know that I missed. Um, but I don't remember where it is, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Whatever. Now I'm annoyed, I'm probably going to try to scan my memory whenever I stop recording to remember where it is, and then I won't, and then I will forget about it and stop caring, or something like that. Um, but yeah, we are almost done with the police station, actually. Um... I know in Remake, you kind of sort of come back. Um, although once you exit the police station, you don't come back. Although I think you theoretically can um, once you hit a certain, until you hit a certain point. That is, uh, let's just use this and put the gear in and press the button. Um, well, Resident Evil 2 is weird. Uh, the remake, the remake has better pacing. I will take the night plug, yes, thank you for asking. Um, I will jump down the dust chute, yes. Uh, remake has better pacing. Honestly, if you want a more modern experience, you should play Resident Evil 2 Remake. It is a lot of fun. Um, it has better shooting controls in that it actually has shooting controls. It's a third person shooter. Oh, right, this guy's gonna do this face fucked. Yep. Bye. Bye. Look, it's the it's the thing from the title screen in a lot lower resolution. Man, that was freaky when I was a kid. Now it's just kind of funky nowadays. Um, but we'll go that we'll go there anyway. We'll see what's going on. Um, I don't know why I still have the shotgun equipped. I should just unequip that. And then again, I'm not really going to be using the handgun all that much longer. But whatever. Um. We are getting closer to the end of the game. We are almost done with the... Oh. Now this guy's been... Can you still hear what, me? Uh, fuck, what was the name of Ada's boyfriend? Me. He's so inconsequential, Damn. I don't remember. I don't believe this. And it has I nothing to do with my... Uh, <laughs> this fucking guy. It has nothing to do with my bad being bad at names, I swear. Bitter irony. The chief of police. A co-conspirator. Huh. Okay. Get that scum. Make him pay. Yeah. Chief Irons is uh he's a dirty cop. My chest. Which you could have sort of already gathered, but you know. Whatever. What's wrong? No, that's not good. Ah. You're just uh Huh. You're not gonna you, you you have weapons. You couldn't you can't just sh shoot it. Good no. God, what was that? Why didn't mail to the chief? Why didn't either of you shoot it? Ah, well, whatever. Bringing logic into my video games. Mail to the chief. To Mister Brian Iron Brian Irons, chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. Ah. <sighs> We've lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative, Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members, Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. Let's see. Redfield and Valentine were the main characters of Resident Evil 1, if you were unaware. Um... Burton is Barry Burton, who is the best character in the series. He has his own game, I think. I don't remember what it was called, though. I think it was on the Game Boy Color? Something like that? But I don't remember. Rebecca Chambers is, has her own game in uh, Resident Evil Zero. I don't think Brad Vickers does. I could be wrong. I actually haven't played Zero. Um, it was on the GameCube, and I've never owned a GameCube that worked. Um... I could theoretically emulate it now, but I just don't care anymore. Or I think it's also available on Steam, but it doesn't matter. Brad Vickers is in three. He makes an appearance, but that's it. Um, actually, Brad Vickers makes an appearance in this game. He is the dude that we shot with the shotgun outside and got the special key for. So he makes an appearance in this game as well. 
Good for him. Uh, I don't remember season one. I don't, I didn't care enough to, uh, to remember. I just remember Enrico because his name was dumb. If it comes to light that the stars have any evidence as to our ac- the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. Continue to monitor their prog- progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Net will continue to be your contact through this affair. William Birkin. Ah, <sighs> fucking Birkin. Fucking Birkin, man. To Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City to Police Department. I have deposited the amount of U.S. $10,000 to the account for your services this term as per our agreement. The development of the G-Virus scheduled to replace the T-Virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to a member of the Executive Board for Umbrella, Inc. Okay. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project. Continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facility. William Birkin. My chair squeaks, squeaks, squeaks. Two, Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have a problem. I have received information informing that the Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly and dispose for any, or thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through a net. With these precautions, any possible threat should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus. Not even Umbrella. William Birkin. How's it going? Where are you going, Ada? Yeah, where are you going? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. John. Ada, that was wait. his name. Okay. Hey! Generic name A, generic name B, you know, one of the two. Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. You've had access to the back of the parking lot for a while. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. What are you on about, dude? Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. Okay. Well, at least... Claire responds, kind of. Oh well. It's, uh... It's too bad. Too bad about... Ben. And I guess technically John, because John was dead in the first game. Uh, but Ada technically doesn't know that yet. Unfortunately for her, or fortunately for her, maybe she would be able to survive past the grief. We're just going to ignore those dogs very quickly. Yes, we're going to go down the ladder. Um, and ignore whatever item it is that's over there. Because whatever it is, isn't worth it. And we're going to come past these guys and I uh, just shoot past. Stop. Get off the level geometry, please. <laughs> it is something I'm very bad at in games, especially at older games. I don't know what it is about PS1 games specifically that I, uh, I have a problem that I constantly get stuck on the level geometry. But I do. And it's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, we're about to go unlock the... Th- Thing. So from here, I'll just take this, 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 and this. Actually, I'm going to do that so I can't proceed on accident between episodes. Or not between episodes, uh, and to the next episode. And I'm going to save and end this episode. And next time, it will be a boss time as we move out permanently I believe um well not permanently you can still theoretically come back after before you get to a certain point but that we're not gonna we're not gonna think about that too much I got everything that I care about getting um so yeah next time we're gonna um fight a boss and maybe we'll even take a train ride well I hope to see you all there